Welcome to Software to See from Festo. In this video, we show you how to display a valve terminal in Fluid Draw P6. For that purpose, I already added a new page for my valve terminal, and I will now import it from the Festo shopping basket. You have the possibility to select the offline basket or the online basket. If you choose the online basket, you will need to provide your credentials in this step if you haven't done that already. And then you can access all your baskets from the Festo online shop, from the Festo website. So I prepared some uh, examples for you used from the tutorial. And here I have some air supply units that I do not need at the moment. I want to show you the valve terminal. So select that, click OK, and now we have the possibility to drop the valve terminal here on the page. You will notice that it is too big to be displayed in one page inside the drawing frame. So I could enlarge the drawing frame or I can use a built-in function in FluidDraw P6 now, which is distribute that of terminal to multiple pages. And that will split the whole symbol, the group of symbols, into smaller parts and display them on multiple pages automatically. Here I can define how many pages I want. At the moment it's two but I could also define to be four. And then I can define where the valve terminal should be split. Yeah, in my case, two is enough. Click OK, and you will notice Fluid Draw will create an additional page here for your valve terminal. And Fluid Draw will also create a cross-reference automatically here. And you can right click and jump to target. And now you're on page five. And you can also jump back exactly this way. And here on top of the WAF terminal, I have a lot of space to draw all the actuators that are operated by the WAF terminal. If you like the videos, please subscribe to our channel and keep yourself informed. See you next time.